just mentioned, just what were you seeing on that play and that, what happened there on the, the run back? Uh, well, it, it was a play that we we had worked on all throughout the week. So uh, I really just tried to apply what we what we've been working on and you know stay calm in the moment and make the play. Now after, you know, turf monsters are real. So uh, one just got to me. I got a little excited, but next time, you know, it's out of the window. So now it's gonna be six next time. Secondary, the whole team, <laughs> the whole team. But it, yeah, it's all fun and game. But there is a side of you where they're like, you know, you got to make that play. Everybody says you're kind of a laid back guy, but that it's a little bit different when you get out on the football field. Has it always been that way? Yeah, it's always been since since little league, you know, and high school. I get cussed out and fussed at about it and it still really hasn't changed but um, I, I don't look at it as a bad thing as long as you know I'm communicating and we're all on the same page on the field that's what matters right so you say you get fussed at about the coaches want you to be more yeah they do they do and I and I'm right honestly trying to work on it um, instead of just being to myself and and kind of standoffish because that's how I can be sometimes off the field in the locker room, and I'm trying to work on that. And um, not saying I'm not close with my teammates, of course I am, but you know there's time where you just you know want to be alone and have a clear headspace, you know. So you made your uh, first career start at, in week one against Georgia. I guess looking back at that game and to where you are now, how have you seen yourself kind of improve since then? Uh, I think confidence has improved a lot. Um, even before the interception Saturday, I think is um, I took huge steps in that, just getting better each and every week, whether that's uh, coverage, communication, uh, tackling, anything. How has guys like uh, RJ Mickens and uh, Tyler Venables kind of helped you kind of, I guess, help you so far uh, this season and years past? Oh, well, you know, their, their experience plays a, a pivotal role, not just to me, but the entire secondary. So they're they're able to to uh, tell tell us all what's going on before the play even happens, you know. Especially um, RJ, you know, he really takes pride in trying to figure out what what's going to happen before, based off the formation. So we try to we try to model ourselves after that as well. Remember someone on the defense describing you before the season started as a really opportunistic player on the field. Would that be an accurate assessment of how you sort of see things? On? Yeah, yeah. I think everybody should take advantage of their opportunities once they get it. You know, you, you want to be prepared for the opportunity and not get it, then unprepared when you do get it. So we all we all just try to be locked in day by day, and when that opportunity comes, you take advantage of it. So, and there's other people on the on the team like that as well. Any questions for Kylan virtually? Anybody else in the room? Kylan, one of the things Clemson prides itself on is being a developmental program. How would you say that you have developed as a player in your time here? Extremely. I, like uh, freshman year, I wasn't ready, and I knew that. I knew I wasn't ready. Um, everybody wants to come in and play fresh out of high school, but sometimes you just gotta have that self awareness and and be able to to go on scout team and get better and understand what offenses like to do and and work on your techniques and all that stuff. And even um my. Uh, Redshirt freshman year, I still think I wasn't ready, but um, you know, taking just having self awareness, like I said, to take pride and and just getting better, and, you know, eventually you're gonna get there. In, in terms of a tackling, I think Debra said y'all had fewer missed tackles we've probably this season gone on. Um, where do you feel like you guys are at that right now, um, just as a team in terms of the tackling and getting the proper technique and everything? I think we're at our best right now. I think we we own on it every day. Whole defense, not just the secondary. We hold on it every day, um, and we try to lock in and focus on that. So I think we're at our best right now. You know, like Devil said, um, fewer tackle, fewer missed tackles throughout the weeks, and I think um, we're doing really good with that. I also understand that you're a real thoughtful guy, and when it came time for the South Africa trip, you were excited about that. Why did you sign up for, for that trip? Uh, those opportunities don't come as often and uh, 
not to say that they were paying for it, but they were paying for it. And I know how expensive those trips can be out of pocket if I if they weren't paying for it. So I just wanted to, you know, travel the country and I mean travel the um, the world and and see how it was. And it was a it's a very very great experience. Honestly, if I had to do it again, I would. What were some of your takeaways from, from being in a, a different place? How on, the biggest one is how stubborn we can be, because those people across the country, oh, keep saying across, across the world, don't have what we have. So we can be, uh, like I said, stubborn and ungrateful at times. So I really try to be grateful and thankful for everything that we have. What was kind of your, your moment on that trip where you were like, okay, this is different, this is not like, like home? When we first got there, the hotel, not, it wasn't a bad and trashy hotel. It's just on, on the outside it said, I think it said four-star, five-star hotel. And it's not like it's not like Hilton or Embassy Suites, you know. They, they are... And if they had embassy suites over there, that would be a seven star hotel. So <laughs> I just I just immediately knew that this was different and we had to all adapt. Did you uh, connect with any of the people over there? Yeah. The uh our tour guide, he gave us energy the the whole trip. Um the kid, the little kids that we uh that we helped out, they were just so excited to see us. The teachers over there, um and uh, for one more, but I don't really know what what he did. But yeah, I really, really connected with them. You know, I, like I said, we try to take advantage of the opportunity, not just go just just to say we went. Avion Terrell has really stood out this year so far. How would you kind of describe him and how he plays and maybe his uh, trash talking kind of mindset, all that stuff. I told I told Avion he's playing the best he's ever played. And and my eyes don't tell him this, but I think he's the best player on defense so far. So I I just want him to keep going and not get distracted because you know it's easy for players to to hear all the good they're doing just like it's easy for players to hear all the bad that they've done. So I just want him to keep going uphill, and I think he brings a fire to the secondary. Um, you know, just competing with whether it's the corners or the safeties, just competing and every every day in practice. So. Anybody else for Kyle? Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, all man.